Hi everybody, it's Sharon from Blessed to Craft Designs. Thank you for joining me again. I'm coming to show you another very short tutorial on how to make a um, a personalized doormat uh, from with one of the carpet rugs from the Dollar Tree. This uh, mat only costs, like I said, one dollar, and there it is. It's a 16 by 24 carpet mat. Um, I'm waiting for some of my Kempf mats, the ones that you do put outside, um, from those to come in. I actually ordered those, ordered them. They're a little bit cheaper that way. Um, but I, I did one of these with the carpet mat last week, and there were a couple. It came out pretty good. It was one that I did with black and white to match one of the galvanized tubs that I had. Um, and... It didn't come out exactly the way I wanted it because it started bleeding through and I don't know if that's because of the carpet or the ink or you know the paint so I decided that I'm going to try this again okay I'm gonna keep doing these until I can actually perfect it because um, I love these because of the fact you can personalize them you can customize you can do anything that you want you can put any things on here any colors and you know when you put them out um, at your front door it just to me it adds curb appeal especially if you have nice grass and you know some plants and everything out there but it's also cute inside of your house as well as soon as people come in if you have this uh, carpet mat right there either in your kitchen somewhere like that it just makes it a, a beautiful addition to any room or decor okay so I've already done the stencil part I do have it on my transfer um, tape and our paper. This one is a little bit different. Um, it's not clear transfer like my other one um, because I'm actually almost out of that one. Okay, and this is um, Oracle 651. Okay. And as you can see, I did it the opposite way. I want to see, I have watched, well, I, have, I haven't watched anybody, but I've seen a couple of people where they actually paint the negative space instead of the actual designs there. And I think that's really pretty too. So I'm trying something different today. I mean, part of it's, I've done it before, but not in this particular way. So, we are going to see what happens. Okay, so just pull this off. And you know, I tell you all, all the time that I am just not good when it comes down to centering. Um, I kind of, I tend to struggle with that for some reason. So, um, I have one of the T-rulers and what I did is I just put this down, I marked um, in the center and then uh, straight across so hopefully I can get this exactly where I need it to be uh, another thing that you can do is you can always fold your design over like this and um, you can do make sure you have it half and half just be very careful with this part and it probably would help if I had this on straight, which I did not. But okay, so let's see what we have here. Move this a little bit closer to me. And I know the W I want in the middle right here because of that. All right. And so there was one of my grooves there, and one of my grooves there. And it's not going to look even just because of my paper, but I can measure up here. Okay. Let's make sure I got it straight. up a little bit more 
And I love this T ruler because it stops right here on this end. Okay. So I do believe, uh -oh. I do believe that is straight across that way. come down to the bottom and the yellow line I'm hoping is straight across this way okay so that appears to be pretty straight right now <laughs> sometimes when I start laying things out and pressing them down they don't look straight okay and if you have your squeegee with you And unlike last time, I'm, I might only do one coat on here. Um, and that's because I noticed um, with this carpet, again, I guess it's this that makes it bleed a little bit and get up underneath those uh, little intricate pieces. So I may just only do one coat. And hopefully that will keep it from um, from bleeding up underneath there so much. If you use those Kempf um, carpets, uh, not, excuse me, not the carpet, if you use the Kempf doormats, those to me did not run when I did my design on those. And I guess it's because of the, the fibers actually uh, absorb the paint a little bit different okay so just make sure your design is down and I did this on this stencil is done with the Oracle 651 um, some people I've seen have done this with the um, I think it's freezer paper um, and like I said in my other video, I have actually done this with, um, let me tear it up this way, because this wouldn't come up that way. I have done this with actual stencil. You can buy regular stencil and cut it. It's very thick, it's hard, and that may work for you also. Okay, see this moved around on me, so... That may not make a, a straight line for me in the end. In this part, you do have to be um, patient with it. It does take a while to get these stencils down onto your mat. And that doesn't matter which mat you use. It just takes some time to actually work this out. So just take your time. Get your little squeegee. Don't be in a hurry. And you can do it.
guys so here is my design okay and again I did it so all of this these um, spots that are open are going to be in black okay so I did it opposite you can do it either way you don't have to do it um, you can weed this W and all these other parts out and um, uh, do it the other way but I wanted to try it this way so I have my same Americana decor um, same bottle that I used before and I'm hoping I have enough if not I'll go grab go to the store and grab some more and for these little small areas I am going to just use my little foam brush okay because these are the parts that I told you last time just kind of, um, they j I had uh, paint and stuff up underneath there. Okay. And no, I'm not neat with it. Because again, I'm going to paint this whole area. So, you know, I don't really have to be quite that neat and try not to get other spaces i don't want to go outside of this outer line but inside it's okay and i haven't done one like this so i actually am pretty excited to do one to see how it turns out and i would wait when you do one of these, I would probably wait maybe um, two, three, at a minimum, hours before you remove that stencil. Um, that's just a personal preference. I don't know if that's written in stone anywhere. Some people may uh, remove theirs as soon as the ink is, uh, the paint is put on there, but I tend to kind of want to wait a little bit before I take it off. Okay, so I'm going to do this part. I'm not going to let you watch me go through this whole thing, but um, once I get done, I will come back and show you a picture of the whole thing painted across. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Um, it hasn't been quite two hours yet. It's been maybe an hour, but I'm going to go ahead. I've already peeled off the outer layer, and I'm going to start peeling off some of these other ones to see. So far, I'm kind of happy. You know, I only did one coat. I didn't do two this time because I was just afraid of um, it bleeding up underneath the stencil. So... So far, so good. These um, little pieces up here, you can kind of see it, it does need to be touched up a little bit. But one thing with this is that you can touch it up. If I get just a little small brush, I can make parts darker, you know, without the stencil being on there. Some of this is still kind of wet, so... Um, so I'm happy with it and pull all these pieces off so you can see how it looks. Okay. <clears throat> and again, if you want to on yours, you can remove the W from the, your stencil, remove the W and these little parts, and then it would be reversed. But I wanted to try it this way. So I actually like it this way. Really. Okay, a few little pieces there I need to do again. But I am, for the most part, out of one, 1 through 10, I'd probably give this about a 9 today. It turned out really good. I actually liked it. I like it this way better than the other way okay so here's all my 
stencil. I think I've picked up every piece. And if I can find my brush. If you have a little small brush like this, even smaller, you can go back. paint and you can go back and you can you know touch up little spots that you want um, if you feel like you want this to be darker all over you can just go over all of it again with your paintbrush okay so you don't have to have the stencil to kind of do a little touching up here and there okay But it turned out really good. I'm, I'm really pleased with this. I'm, I'm excited. Um, I, I'm happy with the way that it turned out. And this is what was with that foam brush. Not this one. I use a foam brush and I've already um, rinsed that out. It's drying right now. So I will probably do a little touching up here and there. But um, let me hold this up so you can see it. Try not to get paint all over me. Okay. So there is the final piece. And it looks nice. There's another little part right here, I think. Well, it looks like it. I'll try to get that off in just a minute. But I'm really excited. I'm happy. You can see it's still I don't know if you can tell, but it's wet, which a couple places where I just put some more paint down. But it looks like it's centered to me for right now. I'm going to bring you to the middle. It looks like it's centered to me pretty good. And, you know, I, I struggle with that. So, um, I'm excited. I'm, I'm really happy about this. So, please make sure you, um, you like the video, you subscribe, share to whatever social media that you, um, um, that you're on and um, put some pictures down there all kind of comments or whatever um, I'd love to hear your thoughts suggestions um, things to do better next time maybe um, and like I say just watch the videos I thank y'all so much for joining my channel I thank you for watching all the videos that I've done so far I have plans to bring um, many many more um, as I'm going along my crafting journey, as I like to call it. So I'm taking you all with me, and I hope you enjoy the ride. So have a great weekend. Um, have a great um, rest of your day. And as always, be blessed.